hi there, it's Timmy Joe. What's up? Uh, you ever um, grab something and then you realize like it has one of those little plastic films on it, and you've like had it for oh, had it for months, and you didn't even know it had it. Satisfying as hell. My name's Timmy Joe, making videos about the computers on the internet. Holy jeez, I got my hands on uh, 1070 Ti. Really relevant in the news. Wait. Totally legit right here? No. I'm sorry. I sharpied that on there. We're going to make one today, though. So stick around. It's not as... I'm sorry if I clickbaited you. Probably didn't because I'm too pussy. But uh, 1070 Ti, big news. Kind of a bullshit card, in my opinion. Because why did they make it? Just to mess with Vega. Who cares about Vega? I mean, 56. If you could buy one for the price it was a lot of four. Sure, good bargain. But I already had lots of 1070s and 1080s around to steal AMD's what little thunder they had from Vega. Just kind of a dick move in my opinion. But what happened with me, speaking of dick moves, right, is uh, I had this partner pull out and take all his hardware with him. And I had a 1080, I had a 1080 Ti, I had a Vega 64, a Threadripper. Uh, and now I'm left with, this is the best GPU I have, a 10... 70, ugh, it's not even a Sharpie, it's a dry erase marker, a 1070, uh, and I have a water-cooled build coming up now, I'm trying to maybe get a 1080 for it, uh, we'll see how the fundage goes, there's a few things in the, uh, in the pipeline, not confirmed, that might allow me to do such a venture, uh, but seeing as I'm working with what I got right now, um, and I want to play the latest and greatest, greatest games, this actually overclocks pretty well. Number one, I've got my own thermal paste on it. I've had it apart, you know, to the Dickens before. And I had this thing on at the Arctic. And uh, it, it, it overclocked. This will actually do another, like, 1,000, 1,200 points in Firestrike, which is awesome. But there's a power mod that you can do. So I'm going to make my own 1070 Ti. And eventually, we're, uh, you know, if all goes to, or if all doesn't go to plan, I'll have to use this for my water cooled build. And we're going to be putting this uh, prime, or this uh, alpha cool block on it, which looks pretty freaking cool. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, I don't want to, I, I actually ordered the wrong uh, tubing from them. So I'm waiting for that to come, the right stuff. Uh, I got the wrong size. Everything else is perfect for the water cooled build. Except for that, otherwise you'd be watching that content right now. But in the meantime, I'm going to power mod this, which means I'm going to put some uh, liquid metal, some conductinot on the shunt resistor that's at the power here that should allow this to suck a little more juice and get even more overclocking headroom. And then rather than put this tinsy little arctic fan back on it uh it looks terrible i painted it it's not very good we're gonna put two awesome pwm noctua fans on it like this and that should be pretty cool right so uh and then we'll see if i can overclock it any further with the shunt mod a little bit of action things and stuff so hit hit the the, the speed laps <laughs> Dramatica comedic effect. Uh, here we go. Here's me 1070 PCB. All looking pretty and what have you and whatnot. So uh, essentially what I'm looking for is, I don't know if you can see up here, um, this right here below your uh, eight pin power connector. It's called a shunt resistor. And what it does is it uh, manages power delivery to your card. And when you uh, connect one side to the other, it tricks the card into thinking it's always at a lower power state, which allows it to uh, push more power to the card and hit another limit that exists beyond the realm of like 120% that you see in like MSI Afterburner. That's my understanding. Someone in the comments will tell me I'm wrong because I didn't Google it hard enough. I watched the DeBauer video where he did this to a 1080. Apparently it applies to a 1070. So what we're going to do is put a little 
conducting that off here. And we're going to uh, put this back on. I've had this on here before. Like, off here. And then we're going to put these on there. I'm not even going to put any heat sinks on the RAM or fuck all. Excuse my French. Because, number one, I don't plan on really leaving it like this. Number two, these are going to push enough air around uh, to, so it won't matter. Okay? Uh, this is going to be more than enough. I think what I'll actually do is probably link these and plug them in on the motherboard. Uh, and if they're too loud, I'll put um, one of those uh, knock to a noise reducing doom hickeys on them. Uh, and then they'll just ramp up and down with the uh I, i'm probably using this on an open air test bench until i get something figured out anyways and if i do end up using this for the water cooled build it's going to have an awesome water block where all this is taken care of and i'm going to take this off anyway so so uh let's go ahead and zoom in with the cameras and so we can see me put the conductor knot all over probably make a mess So we've got our conductor knot here. We've got our card. We've got our cooler all mamma jam it up. I found all the screws for that heat sink. So we should be ready to rock and roll here. What do we got here? I needed, hmm, needed one of these. I only got a dirty one. Don't want to waste this stuff because you don't need very much. Oh, maybe I got one. Hold on. Aha. So. What are we doing here? Mad scientist party happy hour. So let's not squirt this all over the place like I usually do. We're going to very, very carefully squeeze the tiniest smidgen. Oh, that's a smidgen right there. Ha, ah, perfect. Hi, mommy. Hi. Can you get me, um, uh, GTX 1080 while you're out. Okay. All right, thank you. There we go. Taken care of. Hilarious. I am hilarious. I am hilarious. We'll see. Fucking, excuse my French, an awesome mod to do, by the by. 50 degrees, uh, and we're at a 2126, and I'm not crashing. Um, that's uh, another 50 megahertz over the top boost clock that it would hit for a second. Oh, got the 1070 TJ edition. Sitting here with the Noctua fans, got the back plate secured, got it all purdied up got the liquid metal covered with an rog sticker so you don't knock it off there pretty cool stuff and the mod worked and uh this whole thing this whole riggins worked pretty well uh in case you're wondering these arctic coolers do a very good job typically taking like 20 degrees off of uh this bum cooler uh at overclock so uh this thing the way it's set up and it's it's cold never went over like 55 degrees 58 degrees after a bunch of fire strike runs overclocked to the dickens on this 1070 so uh you know it'll go to 80 so it's you know definitely a, a awesome improvement with the five heat pipes and everything like that so i bet you want to know what what did i what did i do what happened so this card the core before uh when you overclocked it would go about uh 2075 for a second then come down to about 2,000 on the, the core. Uh, and yeah, that's a pretty good result, uh, overclocked. But uh, in doing this mod, all I did was maybe get another 100 megahertz if I was lucky. So doing this isn't exactly the most effective thing. If you're taking the cooler off, uh, uh, you, you wanna get a little extra power anyways, you know, put some liquid metal on the shunt resistor there, but uh, it's not it's not magic. So it didn't do that much extra. So you want to know the results? Well, I got some benchmarks for you here. Uh, I did uh, superposition. So this is stock 
uh, superposition, 12,421. And if I overclock this and set a 60% fan profile, which was audible, uh, I would get to uh, about 14,000 almost. And that's a really decent jump. So it's totally worth overclocking a 1070. Now this is nowhere near even the performance of a base 1070 Ti or 1080. It's just the way she goes. And doing this mod, all it did was get me an extra, what, 300 points? That, that's the way it crumbles. Got 2,100 on maybe, it went to like 2,150, 2,130. And then down, you know, the way GPU boost works, the, just the, the, all this does is it takes away a power limit and then it reaches another power limit and then backs off a little bit. So it's not like this is magic or anything like that. But we still see another little increase, about like one or two, maybe two, three percent, if that, if that. So Fire Strike's the only other benchmark I ran, and this is the stock performance, 7787. And with the stock cooler uh, and an overclock with a 60% fan profile, maxing it out, I could get another 1,000 points, a little more than that. Uh, and so what, what did I do with the well? Let me see here. I could get 9,000, broke 9,000 by doing the power shunt mod resistor dealio. So... Is that worth it for 300 points again? Not, not really. Maybe two, three percent. But if you're taking it off anyways, and you got some liquid metal around, doesn't hurt to throw it on there. Unlocking a little bit more potential for some synthetic benchmarks. As for gaming, is this really gonna maybe get another one or two FPS in games? It's just unlocking a little bit more potential than Nvidia. You know, it doesn't like giving much of that up. You know, MSI Afterburner is about as far as you can go. There's no power tables. There's no you know BIOS modding with this stuff. So that's pretty much all you can do. You do it, you get this much more uh, i do really like this little mod that i did though i think this is fun uh, i don't know if i'll end up water cooling this but you know it makes it so that if i do end up water cooling it there's a little bit of potential there but like as i say this does not touch uh i, I bet if you uh oh wow what did i do i bet uh well i know for a fact that a 1080 stock will do about 10,000 in fire strike extreme so you're getting another thousand points without even fooling around with it much uh, so yeah, I'm at watch Timmy Joe, Instagram, Twitter. If you like playing around with computers, you know where to come. Timmy Joe's got a, a YouTube channel where he does stupid stuff and overclocks, whatever he's got. Uh, we'll be doing that water cooling build. As soon as I get the right piping in, we'll be doing some other things and stuff. And, uh, if certain things go my way, I got a sponsor lined up for the channel that it, it, we're, we're negotiating may or may not happen. I'm not going to, um, you know count on it but there's another thing that might happen that might unlock some fundage and then uh as soon as i get some paychecks coming in i'm gonna do the uh because i gotta pay for shipping on all the stuff i promised for the gofundme and money's tight right now as soon as the money thing gets freed up i'll do the video where i announce the winners of the ram and uh send away some stuff and things so i watch thank you very much for watching me i watch timmy joe instagram and twitter uh it's always fun to play around with uh hardware and fool around with you guys and if you have any uh suggestions for stuff to do like you know i got uh this thing coming up a friend of mine uh not real nice guy we'll be talking about him soon He's sending me another one of these so we're going to do a crossfire video this is uh got a video card in it we're going to do some older stuff some newer stuff it's gonna be fun so i watch timmy joe Thanks very much for all the support, guys. I can't thank you enough. And uh, as long as I've got computer stuff in a camera, I'll always be doing junk like, you know, putting Noctua fans on a weird cooler on my 1070. So see you guys in another video. And uh, 1070 TJ Edition, order yours now. <gasps>